Hi, everyone. Welcome to my today's uh, advanced financial management uh, session. And I want to take you through the question that was tested last semester concerning uh, money markets forward contracts. And I have this question with me here that I would want to share. It is this question number three. Question number three, boy. Question number three, boy. December 2022. December 2022. Question number three, boy. We are told Rema Limited, a United Kingdom-based firm. So they have defined the residence. They've told us that this particular company is based where? It is based in the UK. So UK is the home country. So we are told here, based firm, bought goods from a United States supplier and must pay US dollars 4 million in three months time. The company is considering three choices in order to hedge the transaction exposure and has collected the following information. So we have annual interest rate and exchange rates currently available. So we have the US dollar, we have the sterling pound. This is very good information that will help us in money market hedging down here, right? And then I can see the spot is given there. Three months forward, it's also given there. Also one month. So they want us to determine the amount payable using the following methods. Number one, the forward exchange contract. The forward exchange contract method, ladies and gentlemen. This uh, short clip is coming to you from RCM Online College. And my name is Dr. Joshua Aura. I teach advanced financial management advanced financial reporting, financial reporting of intermediate level at this RCM online college, which is a virtual college. We support in Kenya and beyond over 2,000 students who log in on our daily basis to our portal or to our Zoom to get this CPA content. So here we are. Under forward contract, we need only two things. Forward contract, we need two things. And a forward contract, to hedge and a forward contract, what do you need at a forward contract? Number one, you need the amount. We need the amount. The amount to be paid, they have told us, the amount to be paid or to be hedged here is $4 million. It's $4 million. This is the first thing that you need. You need two things. The first one is the amount. The first one is the amount. So this amount, is four million to be paid in three months' time. The second thing then that we'll need here is the three months forward exchange rate because this amount will be paid in three months' time. So I need the three months. We need the three months forward forward contract. We need the three months forward contract exchange rate. The three months forward contract exchange rate exchange rate has this been provided oh yes it has been provided we have it here it has been provided we have it here so they're putting this one month to confuse you as we want three months forward because the debt is to be paid in three months so in this three months forward we have 1.8445 1.8445 1 all the way to 1.8 1.8460, right? And this is dollars per what year? Dollars per UK pound. Dollars per UK pound. So with those three things, ladies and gentlemen, what are the two things? I'm at home. Now, if you look at the exchange given, rate given here, it is coming to us in the form of a range. It's coming to us in the form of a range. So it comes to us in the form of a range like that, then what should we do? We need to define the buying rate and the selling rate because one of them will be a buying rate. The other one will be a selling rate. The other one will be a selling rate. So please, ladies and gentlemen, listen here. Look at what I have here. Look at what I have here. Look at what I have here. Remember, this particular company is based in the UK. And therefore, meaning that uh, the pound is the home currency. So remember there is a really, I've explained this in other videos, in other videos, but for this particular video, I would just want us to take the shorter approach. That whenever you want to define the buying rate, whenever you want to define the buying rate, 
you always look at the position of your home currency. The home currency happens to be this per pound. It's on the right side. It's on the right side. So if this home currency is on the right side, it means that this automatically becomes who becomes buy. And this becomes who becomes sell. So we have buy and what you buy and sell. The worst mistake that you can ever do is to assume that uh, the smaller one is always the buy. You know, it depends on the expression of uh, the exchange rate. And these I've explained in other videos. If you start there on the market, Joshua Aura, you go to get, I've explained this in other videos like that. Ladies and gentlemen, please listen and listen to me very well. Listen and listen to me very well. Once I have this, then I will have to define straight away the role of uh, the intermediary, the role of the bank. So remember, this amount is a payable. This amount is a payable. The person is required to pay this US supplier. It's a payable. It's a payable. There is this, I mean, thing that you're supposed to always remember. This thing you're supposed always to remember that a foreign boyfriend buys what he has dinner. Very important rule. So, and in this particular case, foreign boyfriend, the foreign boyfriend, we know here for foreign receipt, foreign receipt. I don't want to finish this because I'll be doing this in part two of these. For foreign, anytime we talk about receipt, 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 the bank buys, bank buys. And if it's a payable, it will be the opposite. If it's a payable, the bank now does what he sells. The bank sells. And this is very important to me, ladies and gentlemen. What I would want you to appreciate here is that uh, because whatever we have is a payable, therefore, the bank will do what here somebody, the bank will sell. The bank will sell. Since this is a payable, remember, this is foreign currency transaction. We don't have these foreign currencies in our pockets. We have to go to a bank to buy this foreign money from a bank to enable us sell, to enable us pay, I mean, to enable us pay. Now listen and listen to me very well. We are saying in this question that the bank will do what here, the bank therefore, the bank will sell the US dollars, the US dollars at, the bank will sell the US dollars at what the selling rate is here. At one point eight four four five dollars per who per pound, dollars per pound, the dollars per pound, and then now we go to the last step, which is exchanging. So go ahead and exchange. While we are exchanging, if I'm the one doing, I'll even do it the mother tongue way. I will do this thing in the mother tongue way. So we have here one point eight four four five dollar equals one pound per pound. So equals one pound. How about how about four million? How about four million dollars? How about four million dollars? So you go ahead and do what here? Cross multiply. You will go ahead and cross multiply. You will go ahead and cross multiply. So go ahead and cross multiply. Then we shall talk of four million times one. Times one, you divide this by 1.8445 dollars. So if you do it that way, then you will be able to get, ladies and gentlemen, we have here 4 million, we have here 4 million divided by 1.8445, like that, which gives me 21, 68, 21, 21, 68, 21, 68, 609, 609, 609, 609 who? Pounds. 21, 68, 609 pounds. 21, 68, 609 pounds. And ladies and gentlemen, I would want to take you uh, take this opportunity to thank you so much for always following my content. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And if possible, in the comment section, just uh, go ahead and raise whatever topics you'd want me to do, whatever clarifications you'd expect from me, and I would gladly do that. So for Roman 2 and Roman 3 of this question, I would also want to urge you to get into my Zoom class, get into my Zoom class. Once you get into my Zoom class, then I will be able, ladies and gentlemen, to teach you these things very well. And our Zoom class are very affordable. They are very affordable. We are talking over 
each subject, like advanced AFM is 4,000 Kenya shillings. 4,000 Kenya shillings will be able to get into our Zoom affordable classes. So if you're willing to register with us today, could you kindly, in this case here, just place a call to us, 0719-525,000. I'm so sure that there are so many students who would want to read on them own, on their own, which is a good thing to do, but not an excellent, optimal approach of learning. You know, when you join a Zoom class like this, from some of us who have been mentors for so long, I mean, you get so much other than just what you are, your purse. So I would really expect you to get into my Zoom class. And of course, I will be able to mentor you through on how you're going to become an effective accountant, on how you're going to become an effective accountant. But the worst thing of it all is to study this thing in any physical college, even if it's in the UK. Don't go to anybody's physical college because now they are counting the environment and routines. They have changed. Now we are talking of doing everything, financial reporting digitally, right? And if that is the case, then even in learning, you must adopt digital learning methods. It's the way to go, Mwelekeo, the internet. My name is Dr. Joshua Aura. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.